Hello dear students, in this illustration, we will study this particular problem. We have a long cylindrical wire. A current I is flowing through this outer surface of the wire. And the current is uniformly distributed about its cross section. Our goal is to find out the self inductance of this cylindrical wire due to the flux enclosed within the wire. So that is our topic of discussion in this particular lecture. So first of all, let us consider a coaxial cylinder of radius smaller. It's a cylindrical shell we have considered of radius smaller and thickness dr. If I apply ampere circuital law on a circular loop of radius smaller. So then using that ampere circuital law, I can find out the value of magnetic field at a distance smaller from the axis of the wire. But the question arises, how much current will it enclose? Will it enclose I current? The answer is no, it does not enclose I current. First of all, you please understand the current which is enclosed by this cylindrical shell of radius small r is actually given by this. So I dash is equals to J into pi r square. What is J? J is the current density. So where? So this is I dash. J equals to I can write I divided by pi r square. So therefore I dash current will be I by pi r square. So it implies I dash equals to i into small r square divided by capital R square. So this is my equation one. Very, very important equation. So i dash is the amount of current which is enclosed by this cylindrical shell. Okay, not i. Because you are considering an internal point, this small r is definitely less than capital R, which is an internal point. Now, after we have got I dash, the current which has been enclosed by this uh, coaxial cylinder of radius smaller, we can apply Ampere's circuital law. So, by Ampere's circuital law, closed line integral B dot DL mu naught into current enclosed and current enclosed is I dash. So, what we can write? We can write B into 2 pi R mu 0 into i dash is i into r square by capital R square. You can cancel 1 r. So b equals to mu naught i small r divided by 2 pi capital R square. Now once we have got this, very clearly we can understand that magnetic field inside the wire b is directly proportional to small r. So if you plot a graph of B versus small r, you will get a straight line which passes through origin. Where? Inside the wire. Inside the wire. Okay. Now once you have got this B, our next concern is to find out how much magnetic energy because of this magnetic field is enclosed in this cylindrical shell. So we will find out the volume of this cylindrical shell. So what is the volume of the cylindrical shell? So volume of the cylindrical shell area of cross section multiplied by length. So this is the volume of the cylindrical shell. So that is dv so magnetic energy which is enclosed within the cylindrical shell can be expressed as within cylindrical shell is we can write that DE is equals to magnetic energy density magnetic energy density 
is given by b square by 2 mu 0 so this basically represents the amount of magnetic energy per unit volume okay now if i multiply it with dv so i will get the magnetic energy which is enclosed in this region in this annular space or in the cylindrical shell of radius r and thickness dr so now what we can do so therefore de is equals to 1 by 2 mu naught into b square what is b square we have got equation 2 so mu naught square i square small r square divided by 4 pi square r to the power 4 into dv what is dv 2 pi r l dr okay so we can do some cancellations here so 2 pi so this will also become 2 pi then mu 0 1 mu 0 cancels after that any more cancellations can you see so what we can write so therefore de equals to mu naught i square small l r cube dr divided by 4 pi r to the power 4 i hope i have not missed out on any term so now if we integrate this variable small r from the axis to the end of the wire that is small r equals to 0 to small r equals to capital R, then I will get the total energy, the total magnetic energy, which is enclosed within this wire. So, we can in integrate it from 0 to Em, total magnetic energy, and here I will integrate from 0 to capital R. So, this will give me Em magnetic energy equals to mu naught, i square small l by 4 pi capital R to the power 4 and this integration will fetch me what you can see uh, here we are having r cube dr so it is r to the power 4 divided by 4 okay so we are getting something like this this is the result so therefore what we can do now r to the power 4 r to the power 4 cancels so we are getting mu naught i square l divided by 16 pi okay so this is the total magnetic energy enclosed now what do we know we know that e magnetic energy is half l effective into i square so as so i can write this one as my equation 4 so magnetic energy can be expressed as half L effective multiplied by I square. So you can compare these two and by comparing you see I square I square cancels 2 and 16 you can cancel it will become 8. So therefore you can get L effective equals to mu naught L divided by 8 pi. So that will be your answer. So very clearly uh, we got these results. This is the graph that shows the variation of magnetic field both at an internal point as well as on the surface as well as outside the wire. So I believe you are pretty aware about what happens outside the wire. So if you go outside the wire and you apply Ampere's circuital law. So again line integral of B dot DL is equals to mu zero times I. So then the entire current is enclosed by the uh, ampere circuital uh, law means uh, the loop the amperian loop which we are considering around it so what we can say in that case b into 2 pi r equals to mu 0 i so then you will get for an external point magnetic field you will get mu 0 i by 2 pi r so for any for any external point b is proportional to 1 by r but for any internal point this is the expression of magnetic field you can see b is directly proportional to small r why because mu 0 i capital r all these are constant factors and 2 pi is definitely a constant so you get a linear graph from the axis to the surface and the moment you cross beyond the limit of the wire you see that d becomes proportional to 1 by r and what is the effective inductive 
the effective self inductance of this wire because of the magnetic flux enclosed within the wire is this l effective is mu naught l by 8 pi em is the total magnetic energy which is enclosed within the wire which is enclosed by this by this cylindrical wire and de is the magnetic energy which is enclosed by this cylindrical shell okay and b square by 2 mu 0 it is called magnetic energy density or magnetic energy per unit volume so this is another very important approach by using which you can calculate self inductance of a system where the goal is you find out magnetic field and using magnetic field you find out the magnetic energy which is associated with that system or enclosed within the system and then half into l into i square it's a standard formula you compare the two and evidently you will get the value of self inductance of the system i hope this particular problem has cleared some fundamental concepts of self inductance thank you all once again i will come back with another interesting problem which will help you clear certain fundamental ideas the basic concepts which apparently you find convoluted while studying physics at the plus 2 level thank you everyone